Making positive changes. One of the things that you can end up with in life is getting in a rut. And I know a few people are stuck in ruts at the moment due to circumstances and other things going on with relationships. And the whole thing here is don't get caught up in it. Don't let it drag you down. Reformulate yourself and move yourself forward. Find what you can focus on in a positive way. I mean, um, for some people, it's going to the gym. Start doing an hour a day or something, something to change the focus. Because if you, for example, say a widowed, um, widowed pensioner, maybe going to the gym every day instead of coming home for any afternoon with nothing to do, you go to the gym and start making some friends down the gym or you go to the fishing club or do... You start doing stuff that keeps you occupied. The whole point is you're trying to keep things moving. In a business sense, you look at opportunities. Now, I know some people say well, there's no opportunities there, but I tell you what, there is always window cleaning, garden cleaning up, and there's always stuff people want around that they are too lazy or can't do themselves. Or it just doesn't pay them to do it. You know, painting the garden gate, painting the fence, fixing the roof in the garden shed. There is lots of little projects that, I mean, I'm predominantly talking around the UK at the minute, but there is always something somebody wants doing. And a lot of the time, it will be somebody that just can't do it. They might be crap at it. Or they just don't, ain't got the tools. And by the, like here, when somebody asked me to put a painting on the wall, it's because it costs more for the drill, the hammer and everything else, and they just ask me to go and do it for 10 minutes. That's reality. There is always something out there. In the same way, if you're finding that your job is becoming more and more scarce in the sense that you have certain skills that are very niche, but at the same time that niche is dwindling, move into something else. Expand it. If you're used to doing timber frame house design, for example, what can you transfer your skills onto something else? Because the timber frame is this, but can you move on to steel? Can you move on to... Um, designing whatever, timber frame housing for um, DIY projects and stuff and setting your own little website up where you sell the, uh, your blueprints and stuff. The whole point is you've got to keep moving forward and it comes from understanding what you have and what can enhance it. And it's like myself, I understand what I have. Asset management is my main thing at the moment and has been for the last decade. But at the same time, it has limitations. I know most, more than most people in asset management relate to setting all these systems up and connecting, um, well, developing the entire system from scratch. But at the same time, I recognize I've got gaps in programming languages. I've got gaps in my SQL. I've got gaps relating to some of the management procedures and stuff. But at the same time, write them down and then you start working and filling those gaps in. With BIM, for example, I mentioned on a previous video, BIM is something I don't work with, but working with the people that understand BIM, we started to overlap with my asset management stuff. So we start filling in all the gaps and connecting the dots between things. So you, I get a better understanding of BIM, they get better understanding of asset management and things like SFG20. And out the, out, the outside of this, or the, um, the outputs, is that everybody comes out better off. Moving forward, it means that we have an overlap that benefits all of us because the guys on BIM have some asset knowledge now that they didn't have before. Myself, I have BIM knowledge that I didn't have before, but I can start to understand how BIM actually fits into things like AutoCAD and other software um, for building a catalog of information. For example, you're probably thinking, what the hell is he talking about? Uh, with BIM, what you're looking at is, say for example, this is a window. Inside a CAD drawing, this location will be there, the size, the dimensions, the timber, all the information relating to its fire rating and everything else. You map it to SFG20, it gives you its maintenance requirements uh, for its life expectancy, and the life expectancy is tied into this as well. As you can see, they're very similar subjects because both are needed, but they're completely different entities, and that's why we interlink quite well. Um, but the whole point is, develop things. Don't get stuck in that rut and switch yourself off to things, because I know some people do that. 
things are going bad so they just sit there and get the old cans of forex out and will just sit there it ain't gonna fix it the only person who fixes it is you just shake it off you know if you need a bad day have a bad day but wake up tomorrow morning with a different mindset and simply push things forward and I know sometimes it can be very very difficult to the point that you are having a bad day every three days or two days or whatever but the whole point is try and get those positive days as well to get the wheels turning and be more positive and get things flowing again because something will drop into place don't get me wrong it will drop into place and it's the same when i say there's opportunities out there there is plenty of opportunities out there there's a lot of stuff people are too lazy to do today that you could find a niche for yourself very easily it's like a friend of mine um him and his wife do cleaning his wife's a pharmacist and he he works in um what do you call it um cnc machining but at the same time they do cleaning instead why because the pay's about the same and at the same time they they spend most of their time together because they clean together and then they spend their time at home together financially there's very little difference especially in the uk i know myself the amount i pay in tax because i'm over a tax threshold um i get robbed blind i can earn about 12 to 15 thousand pounds less and it costs me nothing because the amount you pay in tax how mad is that anyway thanks for watching